New Zealand, known for its breathtaking landscapes and friendly inhabitants, has had its share of notorious criminal cases over the years. While it may not be appropriate to label individuals as the most evil, some criminal cases have left a lasting impact on the nation's history and justice system. In this episode, we will explore some of these infamous cases, shedding light on the individuals involved, the crimes committed, and the consequences that followed. David Bain One of the most well-known criminal cases in New Zealand is the case of David Bain. In June 1994, David Bain was accused of brutally murdering his parents, Robin and Margaret, and his three siblings, Arawa, Laniat, and Stephen, in their family home in Dunedin. The crime was particularly gruesome, with the victims being shot and bludgeoned to death. David Bain was initially found guilty in 1995 and sentenced to life in prison. However, after spending 13 years behind bars, his conviction was overturned by the Privy Council in London in 2007 due to significant doubts about the evidence and the fairness of his trial. David Bain was subsequently released from prison and found not guilty at his retrial in 2009. The case of David Bain continues to be a subject of debate and controversy in New Zealand, with strong opinions on both sides about his innocence or guilt. William Bell's case is another high-profile criminal case that shook New Zealand. In 2001, Bell was responsible for one of the country's deadliest mass shootings. He entered the Raurimu Spiral Lodge, a remote backpacker hostel in the central North Island, and opened fire on the occupants, killing six people and injuring several others. It was a shocking and senseless act of violence that left the nation in disbelief. Bell was captured and later convicted of multiple counts of murder and attempted murder. He received a life sentence with a minimum non-parole period of 30 years. His actions left a scar on New Zealand's collective memory, reminding the country of the potential for violence, even in the most peaceful of settings. The case of Bruce Howes is a chilling example of a serial killer operating in New Zealand. In the 1970s, Howes was responsible for a series of gruesome murders and sexual assaults in the Wellington region. His victims were often young women, and his modus operandi involved picking them up while posing as a police officer and then subjecting them to horrific acts of violence. Howes's reign of terror came to an end in 1977 when he was arrested and eventually convicted of multiple counts of murder and sexual assault. He was sentenced to life in prison, where he would die in 2019. Bruce House's crimes serve as a reminder that evil can exist even in the most unsuspecting places. William Duell, also known as the Blackout Ripper, was an American serviceman stationed in New Zealand during World War II. In 1942, he committed a series of brutal murders in Auckland during a period of darkness due to wartime blackouts. Duell targeted young women, sexually assaulting and killing them, leaving a terrified community in his wake. Duell's reign of terror ended when he was apprehended by New Zealand authorities. He was subsequently tried, found guilty of his heinous crimes, and sentenced to death. His execution by hanging took place in 1943, serving as a grim chapter in New Zealand's history. While New Zealand is often associated with natural beauty and a peaceful way of life, it has not been immune to heinous crimes committed by individuals who have left a dark mark on its history. The cases of David Bain, William Bell, Bruce Howes, and William Duell are just a few examples of infamous criminal cases that have captured the nation's attention and sparked debates about justice, mental health, and the capacity for evil in human beings. It is essential to remember that such cases should not define the entire country or its people. New Zealand continues to be a land of breathtaking landscapes, warm-hearted individuals, and a strong commitment to justice 
and community well-being. While these cases serve as a reminder of the darker aspects of human nature, they should not overshadow the nation's overall character and values. Stephen Anderson, also known as the Beast of Blenheim, is another notorious criminal whose actions shocked New Zealand. In the early 1990s, Anderson was convicted of a series of brutal sexual assaults on children. His crimes were particularly heinous as he targeted vulnerable young victims, often abusing them over extended periods. Anthony Dixon's case is a gruesome reminder of the potential for violence and unpredictability in criminal behavior. In 2003, Dixon went on a violent rampage in Auckland, attacking and killing three people and injuring several others. His attacks included the use of a samurai sword and acts of extreme brutality. Minnie Dean, often referred to as New Zealand's baby farmer, was one of the country's most infamous female criminals in T.E. 